Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Thoughts Capades channel in Malaysia. It seems that everything that's retro and awesome about the 90s is making a comeback. Just like the Kenner Ghostbusters are continuing their retro series again next year, we've got news coming in now that Masco Toys is bringing back the classic 90s Kenner-style Batman animated series figures and they've also got a Batmobile. That's right, the classic Batmobile from the 1992 animated series is making a comeback. A lot of people own this in their collection from the original Canada days. A lot of people like myself also had to look for one on eBay many, many years after the animated series because I was in that phase. I had to get all of the Canada Batmobiles. A lot of them have shown up on the channel here as well over the years. The original Canada Batmobile from the animated series is just pure gold. It's got action features. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. I want to bring it out here on the channel again for a re-release, re-review. But then, at the same time, we've got this new version that's in from Mesco Toys. This thing also has a bunch of features. It's got two seats that Batman and Robin can both sit in. It's got rotating wheels with wheel slashers that can extend out for attack. It's got a sliding cabin roof because that's just how the Batmobile's cockpit is supposed to operate. And it's also got an attachable rocket flame in the back so you can hear those turbine engines roaring. You get all of this in a nice cool retro styled Kenner homage packaging box which just looks freaking amazing okay i don't have the original Kenner packaging box for the batmobile from the animated series so getting this in the collection is a total bonus guys and all of this is going for the price point of 45 dollars and i just think that that price point for something like this in this day and age is pretty spectacular okay especially i mean if you're getting it direct from the source but if you're living internationally with shipping and stuff like that maybe it's double that i don't know okay but 45 at the core for something like this i think it's a pretty great price point this whole setup also comes with a bunch of figures as well sold separately the figures are three and three quarter inch in scale just like the classic canner figures they also come with five points of articulation just like the old school figures did. So don't expect any sort of like modern day updates to how they move and stuff like that. No ball joints, anything like that. But they do seem to come with a whole bunch of stuff. Like Batman here, it's like the packaging card homages the classic figure and says on the card that he comes with the Batarang. But he doesn't just come with the Batarang alone. Hell no. Okay, look at the layout for everything that he comes with here, right? He's getting a whole bunch of stuff here. You get two head portraits, one that's neutral, one that's looking angry like he's about to kick ass. He gets four interchangeable arms. The separate pair of arms have the gloves with the spikes deployed as you can see here, all right? So one is in combat mode, one is just neutral. And he also comes with a gas mask, a batarang, and he also gets the grapple hook and rope, okay? This is just freaking amazing. All this stuff, okay, for the price point of $17.99 or $18, which I think once again, okay, in this day and age, that's a pretty good rate to pay. They could have just easily pushed this past the $20 price point, but they didn't. All right. Now, the first wave of figures also comes with Catwoman. Catwoman gets the same deal, interchangeable arms. The separate pair of arms comes with a piece of stolen jewelry, as you can see here. She gets an alternate unmasked head. All right, that's pretty awesome. She gets the cat. Okay, the cat's made it. You know, I'm not sure if the cat is articulated. All right, but she gets the cat accessory and she also gets the Catwoman whip all right a whole bunch of stuff here definitely way much more than anything that kenner used to put up back in the day and then we get down to the joker the joker from batman the animated series widely considered by all of fandom to be the best interpretation of the character ever committed to pop culture and this sculpt here is a terrific representation of how he looked like on the cartoon and he's got a bunch of stuff here interchangeable arms appears to be the same deal with all the figures that we're seeing here all right but he also gets a knife accessory he gets the laughing fish and he gets two head portraits all right one with a terrifying looking smile and the other with an even more terrifying looking smile the last figure we're seeing here to round out the first wave is Robin. You're going to need a Robin to fit alongside Batman in that Batmobile. He's got the interchangeable arms like I mentioned, but he's also got a bunch of other stuff here as well, including the rope, the batarang, and two head portraits. Okay, one looking neutral and the other with him just having a pretty cocky looking smile. Okay, that's Robin. Okay, cheeky, confident, cocky, you name it, right? But overall, this is a fantastic looking set. I have to say very well representative 
of the cartoon show. And if this is just a first wave with more figures coming down the horizon, I think that's fantastic. But at the same time, if they're only just planning to do like one single set, I think that this whole thing here, what we're seeing here, is a really good representation of everything that was fantastic about the cartoon. All right. One thing I will say is that probably, well, you know, I mean, they had a chance to go back to these figures again. Maybe it wouldn't have hurt them to add in a little bit more articulation as well. But then again, it wouldn't really be retro then, would it? Okay, like not fully retro, I suppose. Okay, but I really like what I'm seeing here. I definitely need to get that Batmobile. And something tells me that Batmobile is going to sell out, especially at that price point, okay? So don't waste time, okay? If you get a chance to get your hands on this thing, get it immediately. I think that this thing is already up on pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. Go check out those listings right there. And guys, let me know what you think of this whole set, okay? Are you a Batman animated series fan? Did you have the original figures from Kenner back in the day? Did you have the original Batman animated series Batmobile? Drop your comments below and I'll catch you guys again real soon. Take care out there.